What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video and today we have this pretty awesome truck to detail which is a 2021 GMC Sierra and it's in for a full detail which is going to be working on the exterior and interior so I just can't wait to see uh, the results at the end because it's going to be pretty awesome so I hope I get finished just in time so I can get those perfect shots for you guys at the end so make sure to stay tuned and watch the whole video and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel Click on that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future videos. And now, let's get detailing. Alright guys, and as you can see, there's a few things that I gotta do before starting with any of my details. And I think number one would be putting my music on as it really helps me throughout the whole detail. And second of all, have my gloves on so I can be protected from all the chemicals that I'm about to use. Alright and as you guys can see I always start from the tires and then move my way up to the body wash and that's because most of the times the tires, the wheel wheels, they're the most dirty part of the entire detail. Unless I'm working on the engine as well, I start on the engine first, then on the tires and then move to the body wash. And also if you guys want to check out any of the tools I'm using, the chemicals I'm using, I always have the links in the description down below so make sure to go check them out if you want to do so. And also, make sure to comment down any questions that you, ha you guys have and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you guys. And now this is one of the things that I do when working in a truck and to avoid any scratches I put the holes in between the trunk bed and the front of the truck and again this is to avoid any type of scratches when moving around and it really works perfect to me but if you guys have any other ways that you guys do it please let me know.
Alrighty now, I don't think I mentioned this a lot, but the way I do all my details is by using the three bucket method, which means I only have one bucket just for the tires, wheel wheels, inside of the wheels and nothing else, not touching any paint or anything. And then a second one for the soap and the soap only. And then the third one with just clean water so I can rinse it every time I work on a panel and then repeat the whole process on all the vehicle until I'm done. And this is just to have a safer and you know avoid any type of scratching which is not a hundred percent but you know this is why we do hand wash to have uh, more safe and avoid any or the most scratches that we can Alrighty now and all done with the washing part it's now time to make this baby shine again and what I'm using here is rebel rubber which I remember it was recommended from one of you guys and this is why I ask you guys to comment down below if you have any recommendations on any of the chemicals or tools because I like to try it out and this is the beauty of uh, detailing there's just so many products and so many products coming out every single you know month year so this is why i like to ask you guys to comment down if you guys use any different than i do so i can try them out and give you also my opinion so don't forget to do that and comment down below
right now and as you guys can see that was so easy to do and it was so quick to do as well and this is why i always say that it's just a day and night difference of having uh, plastic floor mats or rather than not having or having those carpeted uh, floor mats as well because it's just double the work double the, the hustle you have to do on vacuuming cleaning them so it's just a lot easier and saves me a lot of time this is why i always recommend my customers or every single person that comes and brings their car to me that um, plastic floor mats is just the best way to go And also, if you guys want to check out the vacuum I'm using, as always, make sure to go down in the description down below and click on that link so you guys can review and check it out.
Alrighty now moving on from the carpets it's now time to clean all those plastic trims all those doors all the door jams steering wheel and i do this by using my favorite apc which is going to be the mcquires all-purpose cleaner and of course using my brush and my microfiber towel and in this case that the interior is not too dirty that's all i need and when i have cases that they're more dirty or i have or I have to use stronger APC. I use the same one, but with a higher higher dilution. And also I could use my steamer, which makes everything a lot easier. And here I'm using a 10 to one uh, dilution on the APC, which is just amazing. And it does the work that I need. Alrighty now moving on with the seats and now especially these ones being leather which in my opinion or at least for me they're a lot better than working on cloth uh, seats because it's just a lot easier to clean at least for me and now on this detail I could have gone away with just using microfiber towel and the leather cleaner but you know they bring this car this vehicle for a full deep clean so that's what I deliver and use the brush and treat it as if it was dirty like all my other details and of course after that apply the conditioner so these seats can look brand new again Alright guys, and I think we all know what time it is, and it is time to say goodbye, but not to worry because I'll see you guys on the next video, so make sure to stay tuned. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click that like button, and of course, be subscribed to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.